hi guys welcome back to the channel for today's video i just took off jolie's two months old braids and you guys can you see the dead the build up in her hair it is massive so i want to show you guys the easiest way you can do this to take off the build up the dirt that is accumulated at the bottom of her roots okay so i'm going ahead this is warm water that i put in my bottle right there the living was almost finished so i added hot water and right now i'm using my tresemme conditioner you can use any conditioner that you have at home is going to work provided it is conditioner so i'm just going to uh Take a good quantity that I know will be sufficient for her hair. Do this according to the length of your hair. I estimated close to four tablespoons of the conditioner and I just uh, put in my bowl right there. Okay, you guys. So keep on watching. You're going to understand. And the next thing I'm going to use, you are going to see. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a Okay, so after estimating the, the conditioner, I went ahead. This is my ginger and cloves oil that I put in that uh, applicator bottle right there. I'm estimating, roughly estimating. You don't need to use exact measurement. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up. If it's not enough, I'm going to, you see me adding in the video. Okay, the, I'm doing this, adding oils to this deep condition, uh, this conditioner because, um, uh, her hair is dry and matted at the bottom part of her hair okay so this will help to soften the the build up the dead that is accumulated at the roots of her hair so it's going to help me remember i told you guys i used warm water i didn't want to add all that part i just showed you how i was spraying uh, warm water all over her hair saturated the bottom part of her hair most especially because that is going to help to soften the build up and after i did that i'm mixing up this conditioner and the uh, diy hair growth oil right now which is the ginger and cloves oil that i'm using at home and this is the warm water i showed you guys i sprayed all over her hair you are going to see it right here so that's the first thing i did okay making sure i spread the bottom part especially where the build dops are accumulated in her roots i spray them with the warm water and i massage her hair really well before we move to the next part So once her hair is saturated, I go ahead and start applying the conditioner that I mixed with my DIY hair growth oil. Okay, this uh, ginger and cloves is great for the scalp as well. It's going to remove every impurities in her scalp and all that dead build up and the rest. 
mixed with the conditioner that is going to soften all the build up okay you guys so i'm i'm concentrating on the roots of our hair around the section where the build ups are so that's what i'm doing i'm going to work in four sections and once i'm done with one part i'll just go ahead and and wrap it and and keep it away from the next section that i'm doing so that's what i'll do once i'm done i'll come back Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a love Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Most of the uh, parts of these videos have been fast forwarded. Okay, so it's not like I'm using a lot of pressure on her hair i fast forwarded most of these sections after explaining i just fast forward so the video would not be too long before some of you will come for me that i'm using too much pressure on her hair the birds have just begun we will always take a stand for the people for once i'm done with the sections uh of her hair i'll just step into the bathroom and bring a shower cap and just cover her hair for 30 minutes so i allow her to play for 30 minutes by that time the hair must have been heated up and it's going to soften because of the conditioner and the oil in her hair is going to soften heat up and soften okay this is 30 minutes later i'm just going to go ahead and just brush the roots of her hair that way it will help the build up that has been softened by the conditioner to easily come out okay i'm just brushing the roots trying to detangle the bottom part that was matted with the dirt the build up okay not necessarily brushing the entire hair then i'll mostly finger detangle the rest of her strands okay you guys well, once i did that i did um two strand twist and separated each section by two 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 and a half about roughly eight uh loose twists all together this is uh the easiest way i thought about doing her hair for a couple of days since i was thinking of uh, removing her braids because now it's winter time i would rather we take time like this to do it she's not cold right now and I don't want to stay in the shower for a longer time because she already has cold and cough. So this is the best way to do your wash day routine for your younger ones, especially this winter time that is snowing and really cold. So at the time we went to the, by the time you go to the bathroom, this is her sections all detangled. The moment I just rinse off this conditioner and start with my shampoo, the first second time everything is clean. And then I'll go with the conditioner to just soften her hair. And I took a bath and I went in and I 
used a dryer to just dry the moisture in her hair, moisturize her hair. So this Saturday I'm going to style her hair, so watch out for this style.